Welcome to Harvey's Weekly Football Report here on Seth Daily Podcast. How are you doing tonight, Harvey? Okay. How well did we do last week? Well, in college, uh, you went 10 and 5, and I went 8 and 7 and pro right now. We'll talk about some ones later next time around. Right now, I'm 4 and 2, and you 3 and 3 They put in the NFL. Yeah, the NFL's been crazy today. Yeah, I know it. Bunch of upsets. There's some good too. Yep. All right, Harvey. Speaking of NFL, let's get ready for week four. We got the Cowboys versus the Giants. Both teams are one and two, eight fifteen PM on Prime Video. Dallas is five point favorites is in New York. I'm gonna go with the Cowboys. Who are you going with, Harvey? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know about them, but Ever who loses this game could be in a heap of trouble. <laughs> well, yeah, they'll uh, be one and three. <laughs> yeah. I'll pick the Cowboys, even though I don't, I'm not too confident in them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Harvey. Sunday at 1 p.m., we got the 3 0 Vikings traveling to the 2 and 1 Green Bay Packers. That's on CBS. Green Bay's two and a half point favorites. So I'm going to go with the Packers. Who are you going with, Harvey? This could be the game of the week in my book. You know, it's awful hard to go get some Packers at Mount Boatville. But I think the Vikings are legit. They, oh, I, I believe they oh, I'm going to go with the Vikings for sure because uh, the Packers got a backup quarterback in there. You're going to pick the, you're gonna pick the Vikings too? Yeah, I know I picked the Packers, but I'm going to switch that pick. Jordan Love's not playing, so. I'm I'm gonna go with Vikings. I that's the only reason why I'm going with the Vikings because yeah, that wouldn't look. I think they're for real too. I mean, if anybody can go in there and beat them, it's it'll be Minnesota. All right, we got the Saints two and one traveling to the Atlanta Falcons one and two one p.m. on Fox, and uh, I'm that's a tough game. I'm gonna go with the Falcons. Are you going with third? I'm gonna pick the Saints. All right, we got the two and one Eagles traveling to two and one Tampa Bay Buccaneers one p.m. on Fox. Philadelphia's two and a half point favorites. So I'm gonna go with Philadelphia. Who you going with? I'm gonna pick the Eagles too. All right, we got the Chiefs three and zero traveling to the Chargers two and one four twenty five on CBS. I'm gonna go with the Chiefs. Who you going with? Hurt? I just got two Washington. They pretty tough. They 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 still the team to beat. Definitely Chiefs. The Bills are two and zero traveling to the one and two Ravens eight twenty p.m. on NBC and Peacock. I'm gonna go with the Bills. Who you going with? Hurt? I think they could be the Chiefs' biggest contender. Yep. So you're going with the Bills? Yeah. All right. Monday Night Football, we got the Seahawks 3 and 0. Travel to the 2 and 1 Lions, 8 15 p.m. on ABC and ESPN. Plus, this is a good Monday Night game. This is my game of the week. I'm going to go with the Lions in a close one. Who are you going with, Harry? Uh, It'd be hard and pretty good. Pick the line, uh, get the lines, and I, I'm sort of shocked that the Seahawks are three and zero. You know, and to me, uh, but I think they, I think they'll get their first loss. I'm picking the lines. Okay, me too, man. All right, Harvey, let's go. College football Friday night, September twenty seventh. We got the two and two Virginia Tech uh, traveling to the uh, number seven four and zero Miami Ohio. It's a 7.30 p.m. on ESPN. Miami's 17-point fair. So, I'm going with Miami. Who are you going with, Harvey? I'll take, I think Miami's going to really – well, of course, you know what's in rank. I think Miami is going to – one of the best teams they've had in a while. All right. This one will be probably a better game. Friday night, we got Washington 3-1. and one. Traveling to Rutgers 3-0, and oh, 8 p.m. on Fox. Rutgers 2.5-point favorites. Uh, I'm going to go with the road team and pick Washington. I was a little bit skeptic about that, but I think Washington could be the better team. I'm going to pick Washington. All right, Saturday we got 2-2, two and two, the Kentucky Wildcats, traveling to number six, Ole Miss 4-0, and 12 p.m. on ABC. Ole Miss 17-point favorites. I do think it'll be closer than 17 points, though, but I'm going with Ole Miss, so you're going with third. I think Mississippi is. We'll have a better defense than Kentucky's offense. 
they got a good defense, but Texas offense, I just don't have much they can score against on Miss, so I'll pick on Miss. All right, we got two and two Minnesota traveling to number twelve Michigan three and one. 12 p.m. on Fox. Michigan's 10 point favorite. So I'm going go with Michigan. Who are you going to throw? I'm going to pick Michigan too. All right. This will be a good game, man. If it wasn't for Georgia and Alabama, this might be the game of the week. We got number 20, 3 and 1 Oklahoma State. Trailer number 23, 3 and 1 Kansas State. 12 p.m. on ESPN. Kansas State's five and a half point favorites. I'm going to go with Kansas State. Who are you going to throw? I think I'll pick Kansas State too. I, I watched uh, Oklahoma State like this past week and that. Lost them. That's <laughs> why so I'm gonna pick against them this time. Watch, watch them win. All right. We got number twenty-two, four and zero BYU. Red hot coming into Baylor, two and two, twelve p.m. on FS1. Baylor somehow is three-point favorites, but I'm gonna go BYU. Who you going to go with? I'm pick with BYU too. All right. We got Nebraska, three and one, traveling on one and two. Purdue, twelve p.m. on Peacock. Nebraska's ten-point favorites. So I'm going with Nebraska. Who you going with, Arby? I think it'll be bigger than that. I'm going to Nebraska. Really? You think yeah. it's going to be bigger than that? I'm not surprised you're going to Nebraska, but I'm surprised yeah, you think so. it's going to be bigger than that. I think it'll be more than 10. All right. We got 2-1 and one Wisconsin traveling to 2-1, and one, number 13 USC. 3.30 p.m. on CBS. USC's 14 and a half point favorites. I do think it'll be closer than that, but I'm going with USC. Who are you going with, Harvey? Well, I won't pick uh, – this was a tough one. I'm going to pick USC. All right. This will be a good one. 3 0 Louisville Cardinals traveling to the number 16 Notre Dame, who's 3 and 1. Is three, who's 3 and 1? Uh, that's 3 30 p.m. on Peacock. Notre Dame's four and a half point favorites. Uh, I'm going to go with Notre Dame. Who are you going to throw? I think they're the home team. And uh, uh, in this one, that's fine. I'm going I'm to go with the home team. I think Notre Dame was in that one game. I think they woke up a little more. I think Louisville's got a good team. I, I, I've seen them play, but I think Notre Dame, is, I'm going with them. All right. I do think that'll be a good game, though. That might be the second best game. It'd be a good game. Well, either it and, or Oklahoma State and uh, Kansas State. Yeah. I like both them games. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, oh, yeah, i got to ask you something about Baylor. Did you watch that Baylor and Colorado game last week? Yeah, and I think one play turned the whole game around. <laughs> and Hail Mary, I've seen that play. That was that, crazy. That was probably the play of the year so far. It was, man. That was an impressive throw and an impressive catch as well. <laughs> yeah. Could Colorado, that big win for them. Yep. All right, Harvey, we got number 21, 3 and 1, Oklahoma, traveling to 2 and 2, Auburn, 3 40 p.m. on ABC. Oklahoma's two and a half point fair. So I'm going with Oklahoma. Who are you going with, Harvey? I don't I, I think I will, too. I, I, I'm not slowing on Auburn right now. <laughs> All right, we got number two, uh, Georgia, 3 and 0, traveling to number four, Alabama, 3 and 0, primetime on ABC. At 7.30 p.m., Georgia is one of the half-point favorites. Uh, this is the game of the week for both of us, I believe. I'm going to go with Alabama. Who you going third? I think Alabama – I think if we're the, Alabama's home, I think Alabama probably should have been the one favorite to win, and I'm not going to pick it because Alabama at home. It ain't be a good game. I, won't, I wouldn't be surprised if Georgia won, no, but – Alabama's pretty tough. Yes, sir. All right, we got number 19, Illinois, 4-0, traveling in 3-0, number 9, Penn State, 7.30 p.m. on NBC. Penn State, 17 and a half point favorites. I'm going to go with Penn State. Who are you going with, Arby? I've jumped on, I've jumped on the Illinois bandwagon. I'm going to pick Illinois. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes. That's right. They, hey, they, had a, they had a big win uh, this past week against uh, – Nebraska, where you at, right? Yeah. Yeah, they, it was. They beat Nebraska. They, I mean, so you never know. Yeah. I, I do think Illinois did be a good Nebraska team, though. Yeah. Do you think Nebraska's back? I hear a lot of people say Nebraska's back. 
they got beat by a good team in the North, so they could be. They, I think they are. I don't know how far back, but they can, how far they've come back, but uh, they're a whole lot better than they've been in a long time. The Illinois, it must be for real. Yeah. Illinois, uh, they've not been much of a football program, though, but they look decent this year. Yeah. This is probably the best they've looked in years. Yeah. In your opinion. Yeah. All right, Harvey. We got Cincinnati three and one traveling to three and one Texas Tech, eight PM on ESPN two. Texas Tech's three and a half point favorites. I'm gonna go with Texas Tech. Who are you going with Harvey? Well, I don't know. They <laughs> they won they won to shoot out against that one team, you know, Avalie Christian. And uh, Cincinnati impressed me in the one game they played. You know, they lost a close two in one of the games they lost. It came right down to the wire. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to beat Cincinnati. All right. We got one and three Florida State traveling to SMU 3 and 1, 8 p.m. on the ACC network. SMU is five and a half point favorites. I'm going to go with the SMU. Who are you going with, Harvey? I think SMU is a dangerous team. And, uh, I haven't said that Florida State will probably win, but I'm picking this in you. <laughs> All right. We got 4 0 Washington State traveling number 25, 2 and 1, Boise State, 10 p.m. on FS1. Boise State, seven point favorites. I'm going with the upset. I'm going with Washington State. Who are you going with, Harvey? Well, Washington State is not that bad either. I don't, they beat Boise State. I, I, to me, I wouldn't consider it an upset. But uh, I'm gonna pick Washington State. All right. So, what's your game of the week in college football? It's be Georgia and Alabama. I agree with you. That's my game of the week as well. What's your game of the week in the NFL? Uh, well, it could to me. It could be the Bills, the Ravens, or the Vikings and Packers. I'm going with Seahawks and Lions. Yeah, that could be too. According to me, that's the game of the week. So, what is your game of the week? Bills and Ravens? I think it might be the Vikings and the Packers. It's just a, it's just a uh, division route. Yeah. Could be. Especially if the Vikings go to the Lambeau Field. And... Yeah. Beats the Packers. Packers looks pretty good too, but they, you know, you got to go by who you played so far. So this is this is could be one that big chess for uh, for anybody. This game from Minnesota is for real. Yeah, it can win that division. I mean, they, they Sam Darnold good looks dude. good right now, Harvey. Yeah, Sam Darnold looks for real. Yeah. Appreciate you doing the show. Appreciate everybody listening. Everybody have a good night and God bless. Okay.